Uh, I have been putting off doing a covers video for weeks because of this sodden cover. This is Jason Burns' cover to Iron Fist and Powerful Man, Luke Cage's issue 119. This is the only issue I have of Iron Fist and Powerful Man. I didn't want more. But there are a few things to focus on just with the cover. First, this cover gives us a look at Iron Fist's new colour scheme. You swap the green for the red. I quite like that change. It looks good. We will get to the funny way in which it doesn't actually appear in this issue. Really funny, that. Awful series. Awful writer. But hey, this cover, I quite like. But the thing that has made me undecisive about including it in a covers video is... I didn't like Iron Fist's actual face. At first, I thought it was just his eyes. And it's not even that we can see them. I thought about that long and hard. It's just that I didn't think Jason Byrne drew the eyes very well. They are too far apart. And the shape of them... They didn't really gan with the image of Iron Fist. Then I realised it was the old face that was presenting problems for me. I didn't like the face. It looks like he has been hit in the face with a shovel. It doesn't look right. I can't really articulate it well. Something about the face is really off with me. It's like some greaser put on an Iron Fist costume. And that is why I haven't done a covers video in a while. Because I cannot decide if this cover should be on it or not. The cover is the most interesting thing about it. This issue is beyond boring. Iron Fist is dying... So he has gone back to Fairyland to be cured of the radiation poisoning that is slowly killing him. So he has some magic Fairyland meditation and he drifts off. And so the rest of the issue is mostly a fucking dream. I have spoken before about my dislike for dream issues. And whenever a character gans on a vision quest, that's another one. I didn't have much to praise with this issue at all. But I will give it this. This dream sequence, which fills almost the entire issue is at the very least establishing some backstory or it is trying to do so. It is showing us some history and some mythology. It is all linked to Iron Fist, who is boring in my opinion. But it does attempt to serve a purpose. I would say that purpose is also not covered that sensibly. The thing is, we are seeing a dream. We are seeing Iron Fist having a fantasy where he witnesses and is even involved in this stuff. So from that alone, you can argue that this is not representative of what it's telling us. This is an unreliable narrative. It's a dream. The stuff might have happened. The stuff did supposedly happen. 
But at any point you can ask yourself if this stuff even counts. Having a character sit down and give us a lecture on this backstory would honestly be better because then there is no such debate about the worth of what you're seeing or what you're being told. Yeah, we're meant to take this dream at just as much face value as any other exposition, but why should we? It's a dream. It's a dream that eats up a whole issue. And there are plenty of dreams in comic books and dreams that fill up a whole issue that are just metaphor and symbolism. We get to see Iron Fist's originally retold to us. And... Re... Here is my problem with an issue like this. Anyone who says that it isn't a waste of time is a liar. I mean, yeah, you can get some substance from it. You can get some of it from all dream issues, I think. But this is a comic. If you're getting this month to month... Eagerly awaiting the next chapter of Iron Fist and Powerful Man. And then you find you're getting handed a dream for a month. It's wasting your time. It's wasting your money. This isn't a story, really. Nothing happens. Nothing progresses. You're just seeing stuff be recounted to you in a manner where you're not totally running with it because it is a dream that could easily be deceptive or misleading. Mark Brigheit is drawn it. That's good for a reader at least. It also should be mentioned that Jason Byrne who obviously did the cover for this issue. Years later, he retcons this story very heavily. I didn't think anything from this dream is affected. Probably because it is a dream. A dream that is trying to say that it counts, but it is a dream, so it shouldn't really count for anything. There is a big purple dragon on the loose at Fairyland. And what the backstory has been telling us is the dragon's history. And in the present, or in the waking world, Luke Cage's one-off of the title Double Act. He has been beaten by the dragon in battle. Off panel. He has contributed so much to this issue. And from what I read, Dr. Droom is meant to be there with them, but they forgot about them for an issue. Saying that they forgot about them sounds like I am insulting the creators and their intelligence. But the thing is, here is a splash page of Iron Fist. Why? Well, here is my speculation. I think this is... I do a lot of speculative and speculatory claims, but I think most of them are weighted on logic and circumstantial evidence. I feel the need to say this is speculation here because this is such an enormous error. I find it unbelievable that this could be the case. But I think it was meant for this splash page to introduce us to Iron Fist now wearing red. Why else end on a splash page of him? 
Why have a cover with him wearing red when he doesn't wear red at any point? This big moment here is surely meant to have been the debut of him wearing red. And it is a great splash page by Mark Brigai. Would have loved to see it in the red colours because I like the red colour scheme. I am sure that the writer of this has done a blog post trying to gaslight people and deny that this was ever a mistake. But what is more believable? Marvel did a mismatched cover on a book with what would otherwise be a weird and unusual splash page to finish on. Or nobody cared about this shitty book that was heading towards cancellation so much that they didn't bother to read the memo saying to colour them red. They cover for it next issue by pretending his costume is now like a symbiote and it can change colour mid-fight. Not having that. No way. That's... The whole issue here is bullshit. And the only notable thing is the cover and what I believe to be an enormous mistake on that last page. I rate it red thumbs up.